Calvary Chapel was the name of a church that Chuck Smith, a minister formerly part of the Foursquare Church, a Pentecostal denomination, became pastor of in 1965. The church rapidly grew and sent out pastors to start other churches, and these churches reflected Smith's teaching philosophy and theology. These churches were born in the Charismatic and Jesus People movements, and they believe in the ongoing practice of spiritual gifts, including speaking in tongues, but they also require adherence to limitations and guidelines on these practices. They emphasize a through-the-Bible approach to preaching, and they have relaxed clothing, lots of Hawaiian shirts. Calvary chapels were instrumental in introducing contemporary Christian music to the American church scene, and churches are quite opposite of liturgical. They affirm basic Protestant Christian beliefs, and they believe in baptism by immersion of believers and the Lord's Supper as ordinances. The Lord's Supper is symbolic and open to all believers. They are dispensationalists and pre-tribulation rapture premillennial. Many are young earth creationists. They try to toe the line between Calvinist and Arminian. Some churches teach once saved, always saved, but others don't. They don't have women pastors and don't allow same-sex marriage. They teach that Holy Spirit baptism could be at salvation or a later time and may or may not be evidenced by speaking in tongues. Churches are led by a senior pastor and normally an additional church board of elders or deacons. Here on the internet, one well-known Calvary Chapel pastor is Mike Winger. Calvary chapels are autonomous. There is no central authority that can tell them what to do. Because of this, they sometimes call themselves non-denominational. But who are these non-denominational churches, anyway? Click here for a two-minute explanation. Or if you want to learn more about Calvary Chapel, my more detailed video on them has over 100,000 views. Click here to watch it.